Hello everyone, I'm Camille Hepner and welcome. Today we're gonna talk about new updates in uh, Houdini 19 for KinFX and as well about the updates for KinFX tools. Let's start with the updates for uh, vanilla KinFX. So the biggest, the most important update is for the rig pose, which now allow you in the rig pose state to select multiple controls, sorry, to select controls for multiple rig poses, which wasn't possible previously. So now you can have a multiple rig poses, nodes, and you can select controls from different ones. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up as a first thing. So now you can kind of ditch, if you want, object level controls. There's a few caveats and gadgets with it, which we're gonna talk about. And I think pr in a production, you will probably still have object level controls but it's totally up to you how you would like to approach a problem right now. All right, so now I will show you how to use a new attach joint geo, soap node, which actually replace the attach control geometry node. So here we have a very simple setup. And what I did, I took the test geometry, blast the bottom and polyfill it. So we just have an enclosed geometry. Created very simple skeleton, mirror it. And now I'm gonna show you the attach joint geo. So this is a new node. It's used to create the controls and then you use a rig pose to pose the control. So it's, it doesn't replace that touch control geo node. It's a little bit more friendly to use. Another important thing is that now, instead of using blast soaps to remove some joints, we'll use delete joint soap. So it's actually faster than a blast. And it's because it has this new node inside cache called cache if, and it's basically caching the data and is just um, re-evaluating the network only if certain test cases change. It's super fast and just this one, just, just this delete soap, it's 0 0.06 millisecond. The cook, it's much faster than blast. So now we don't use a blast to remove our joints and the lead joint works perfectly. So here I create a touch joint geo. This is a new sub from side effects. And I created some controls here. You can use the controls from KinFX tools. That doesn't matter. Just here, I just want to have a very simple vanilla setup without any KinFX tools. So when you're creating controls, there's a quick reminder. You basically create your shapes. This one in case it's a circle, you you know, transform them to whatever you want. But at the end, you need to give them a primitive attribute name and the name of a shape, how it's going to be recognized. And that's it. And those shapes goes to the second input as a shape library. As a first input, you plug in your skeleton. That works similarly to our basically attack join geo, except that now we have a very nice state, Python state written for it, so we can manipulate controls in a viewport. So to add the new controls, you enter a state by hitting an enter in a viewport and you have a two modes how this soap works. You can assign shapes and tweak shapes. And first, in order to tweak shapes, you need to assign some shapes. So we select a joint where we want to create the controls. Let's say spine one, press a G key on your keyboard and that's created entry here. And now you can use a mouse scroll if you want to circle through all the controls which you plug in, in or you can choose the shape from here you can type it whatever now we can just modify it and it's pretty easy we change the mode to the tweak shapes we sell controls which we want to modify hit the g key and now you have a manipulator which lets you to modify your control and you use a normal scaling rotation and etc now that also switch you to the tweak tab and in the tweak tab you have all the settings which you can modify in order to change the look of a control. So it's a rotation scale and etc. So it's really cool 
comparable to what we had before. You can also specify here a color of a control and let's say we'll do yellow. So I will just go up. Uh, sorry, I don't want to go up. I actually want to go back where I were, but I would like to just display a template here. So I can just go like this and this. Now let's create the rest of the controls. So I switch to assign shapes. So I like this one, press G, press G, press G. That's basically create me empty groups here. And I just copy the name of the shape, which I want. There you go. Awesome. And then I can switch to the tweak shapes. Select this one, press a G on the keyboard, make it smaller. The same here, G, make it smaller. And the same here, G, make it smaller. There you go. And we'll assign the different colors to it. So all of them will be yellow. There you go. That looks awesome. And this one, for example, you can also rotate. And yeah, this is a new standard way of attaching controls to your joints. And now uh, all what you need to do, you basically need to do rig pose. And that's it. Now, let me just finish controls for the arm here and I will show you how you can promote those controls to to your rig so they can be selected from outside of it. Okay, so what I did here, I just created all the controls for arms and spine. Pretty simple FK controls. As I as I showed it to you, here you go. And now all what I need to do when you have your HDA, you basically need to just promote those transform attributes from rig pose to your HDA. And you can do it very simply. If you don't know, you can just go here, type properties on your rig HDA, and then you can just go and drag and drop like rotation controls, name it accordingly, put it in the tabs, and that's it. The last thing to have your sub level rig working is to in the node tab change default state to KinFX rig pose. That will basically force when you enter state in your rig, that will force it to turn on the KinFX rig pose state. And I will show it to you. So we can just save the node type and match the current definition. So it's green because I put some animation on it just to test it. But now when you select your rig with your mouse, on the viewport, hit the enter, and now you can enter your controls from a sub. Now, there's a few little gotchas about it. With this version, which I'm using, it's a 190451. It's a little bug which basically doesn't allow you to select multiple controls by hold your mouse button and drew the selection box. So now we, we cannot select, we cannot drew the selection box. Um, the other issue is if you select mult controls from a multiple uh, rig poses and you set the key, it only select, it doesn't set the key on all of them. So there's f just this bug, which is for sure will be fixed super soon, just to let you know. There is no really a speed gain if using sub level controls versus the object one for now. There is no really like a big speed gain. So if you if you are big on this easy selectability of the controls and everything, how to manipulate them, you probably will be much happier to use object level controls. But now sub level controls are fully usable. It's just those little inconvenience, which if you're able to work with, that's fine. All right, 
Now let's talk about changes in the KineFX tools. So here we have a very simple rig with the object level controls and let me show you what we have changed. So the biggest change is that we don't have an attach control geo. Uh, that was old node which was called attach control geometry node. Now we have a new node called attach obj control which basically based on the attach joint geo so we have some extra parameters here which i'm gonna talk about in a second as well we got some extra attributes extra parameters here to automatically lock some channels and etc so if you're using kinefx tools and you want to automate that object level controls creation use the attach obj control instead of attach joint geo but it, they're very similar there's only little changes in the python code and in the parameters and i believe later when side effects will improve all our workflow with sub level controls we can ditch the object level controls completely let me show you how you can create this object level controls it's pretty simple here what i can i will do i will just remove everything so I can recreate it with you. Let's just for say for a, for a sake, I'm just gonna do this. I'll remove all the controls. All right, so let's start by creating a controls. So we're gonna do, we're gonna create a node called attach, attach obj control. Here you go. That's a node from KineFX tools. And connect the controls second input. We can display the node and connect it here. And just a reminder to use delete joint soap instead of using blast one the delete joints works much faster right we select our attach obj control node hit the enter so we enter the python state we are sure as a mode we are set to assign shapes we select joints press the g g g and g fantastic as a shape name we'll choose a circle we can copy it over to other shape name shape name fantastic okay that's great and now and now because it's just a spine i'm sure that i just want to have a rotation after creating our, our object level controls so we basically gonna lock all other channels i don't want my controls to be x-ray and the Control folder, as you remember from the previous node, attach control, is basically when you promote your controls to the top of your HDA, it's going to be put it in a folder named control folder here. So in that case, it's just picking up the name of your node, which is super cool. Let's just call it spine fk ctrls. And that's it. And let's just go to a tweak and let's tweak those shapes i can display the geometry so we need to switch to a tweak shape mode select it press a g move your mouse slightly so viewport will refresh and let's just scale them a little bit down And we don't want to mirror those controls. We don't want them to be in a world space. It's all good. Other settings we can leave as it is. Exit the Python state. And let's change the color of our node to this, this washed green. And speaking about the controls, previously in this node, you had a path parameter here where you specify your controls library. 
it's not there anymore. You can bring your controls just by merging it from like object level here. You're just merging it and you can connect it wideband one to, to your attach OBJ control node. There's a chance, as I said, that at some point we'll switch rigs to, to sub rigs. So in a case that will be more kind of forward compatible uh, what will be upcoming later. So that was the change. Everything else is the same. You basically select your attach OBJ controls. You go to my rig and you click OBJ controls. And this is the output. And everything is good. We get the created controls. Sorry, we get create the, the zero TTR node, the rig pose with all the connections. Fantastic. And if we go up, we'll see we have a spine controls created here. And let's just move it down there. Fantastic. Let's enter it. And I here I created FK controls. It's pretty similar settings. I just specify some attributes, colors, etc. The same thing you select it. You run your a script. And if you look up, you're going to have your arm controls here. Cool. And now just a, there's another one change, which is really good. You remember in the past, we needed to bypass those nodes after creating the object level controls for a speed reason. Now, because there is that nodes change and there is a cache if node inside, we don't need to do it anymore. So you leave them as they are. You don't need to bypass them at the end and that's it. So your rig is kind of done. The last thing what you need to do, it's obviously to promote those object level controls so they can be selected from the top of your HDA. And in order to do that, you just select your controls and just do it quickly. And you run a script from our KineFX tools to promote the controls. And that's it. Now, when you look at your rig here, it's all good. I can just save the node type, match the current definition. And now you just use your normal selection tools 